Hello guys. Today I am going to give you a brief introduction on Adobe Photoshop. Hope you will like this, and if this is really helpful please subscribe us and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Before going to the tutorial, let's get to know what can we do with the software. Following are some examples from the web. Let's go to the application now. In the first window we can select a project from recent items or you can create a new project. Click the create new button in left. Next a small window will appear with different project types. From those, you can select any type with default sizes. Or you can create it with your own dimensions. And you can define an orientation as well. Make sure to set the resolution correctly. If you want your final output in good quality, an amount of 300 will be good. Otherwise, you can set it around 80. Click the Create button to proceed with your settings. You can start your work here. For now let's close this and go back to the previous window. You can start editing an image of your own just by opening it. Let's click the Open button and search for the image. I am using my channel logo. Now you can proceed with your editing work. Before that, let me explain this interface. At the top of this interface you have the menu bar, which is useful when importing new images into the current project, transforming, color corrections and other additional effects. Under the menu bar you have the options bar that you can use to define the settings of your editing tool. You can select a tool from the toolbar in the left. If it is not there, you can go to Windows, select Tools, to turn on the visibility. At the right side of the interface you have the color palette. You can select any color you wish. And at the below, you have the layer palette. Let's learn what layers are and the move tool as well. The move tool can be used to move a selection or an object. First let's import some images into the project. You can just drag and drop your images. Before placing any image, you can transform it to any shape you want. and hit enter to place it. Do the same for other images as well. Select the move tool. I have already selected. Next move your placed images to anywhere you need. Now you can see when you click an image with the move tool. A layer will be highlighted at the layer palette. Therefore, every individual image you place in your project is defined as a layer. And also, you can individually edit those layers as well. Or you can turn off the visibility of a selected layer if you don't need it at the moment.
My briefing ends here for today. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.